Mm, what's up, y'all? Aftermath from Boonville, Labor Day. I wasn't going to run, but I got talked into it, and since I had already had the mower ready, I had spent Friday night just go ahead and, after the video I made from the Marshall Derby, I went ahead and uh, I cut the front cage off the mower. And I swapped the hoods out and I swapped the exhaust out and got the mower back to being limited weld. Uh, it was pretty much ready to go and I got talked into going to Boonville. By the way, uh, in the Marshall video, I forgot. Big thanks to Skyler for helping me with this cage. He hooked me up with all the metal to build this cage. So, big shout out to him on that. So, yeah. Sorry about that, man. Forgot to add that in the other video. So, yeah. Also, thanks to uh, uh, Leroy for bringing me up there and everyone else that was there. So, yep, on the Boonville's Derby. Ran that Sunday. There you go. Here's your aftermath of it. It doesn't look too bad. You can definitely tell the hood took some beating. There's no, uh, there's no video of it before, so it was kind of a spur of the moment deal. So walking around, it don't look too bad. I had a few issues. Uh, I had one big issue start out pretty early, like within the first few minutes, where I lost steering. I had a problem with my steering. Uh, took a bad shot to this wheel that bent this whole front axle assembly. As you can see, that's kind of bent back. It's bent backwards and it's also tilted. And also, this piece right here got bent somehow and twisted. As you can see, it's all twisted. And it got up into here. You can see where it is hitting the, the arm. And then I could only turn right. Which is a big problem. You'll see in the uh, the GoPro where I was having issues with the steering. And as I was trying to crank on it, you can see the steering wheel turn, but the wheels weren't doing nothing. Which is also a new problem. And as I take this off, I take this bolt off. This hub assembly right here, it's plastic. I thought I stripped out the, uh, the actual teeth on there. But it turns out, you can see how that's wallered. It was spinning on the shaft. It actually cracked this. There's a crack there. It cracked that center hub. It's plastic. Never had one do that. It's actually stuck on there pretty good now. Completely wallered and I was fighting that too. The cure for that, take this plastic hub, throw it. Get you an older metal hub. It'll go right down on there. And it fits right into the steering wheel. And that will solve that problem. That probably would have helped my steering quite a bit. So, yeah. You actually see in the video where I actually take this knob and I'll flip it down because I was fighting the steering so much. So I'll fix that, not a big deal. I'll, uh, I'll take this whole front axle assembly out since this is pretty well trashed. I, you can barely see. Like it's bent back pretty good and twisted. So this front axle is shot, this front beam, I'll replace it. The spindle's still straight, it's just this bracket right here got bent. So I'll bend this back down and twist it back out, maybe throw a little gusset right here to kind of keep that. And I'm also going to take this little pinch weld here on the new axle and I'm going to bend it out of the way or cut a slot out. So in case it does, it doesn't contact the uh, drag link bar. So that should solve that problem because, yeah. That sucks when you get stuck only turn one way and you're kind of at the mercy of the steering. It really sucks. Like I went ahead and took a crowbar and I bent that down a little bit and now I've got steering both ways again. By the way, that's all I can steer to the right right now. But if I turn to the left, you see how much further it turns? That's how bent that front axle is. Uh, you can probably get a good view now. Yeah, there you go. Now you can see how badly it's twisted and bent. Yeah. That's throwing the whole geometry of my steering off. Along with it being bent, this wheel is straight-ish. Actually, it's pointed out just a little bit. That wheel's pointed out. 
the whole front axle was bad. I think this side got bent a little bit too. Eh, it's not so bad. It's a little twisted, but not bad. This side actually still usable. And of course the hood. Hood took a lot of it. The frame's actually holding really well. The uh, the sides and all held up really well. No big damage there. Nothing really new. This is new. That's dented the cage quite a bit. That's actually bubbled it. So that's new. Got a few scuffs. I think that's some of this might be new. Got a few scuffs on it. A few dings, stuff like that. Not a big deal. The hood took most of it. Used to be a gap between here and the all thread. And this is all buckled now. That's going to be hard to straighten. But for the most part, the hood held together really well. Uh, the front frame. As you can see, it's starting to cave in a bit where they all usually do, but it's holding together really well. Let me roll this over on its side real quick. Let me set this camera right here. Roll on its side and I'll explain some more. I'm not going to fully roll it over because it wants to flood the carburetor and leak gas everywhere. The frame holding together pretty well up front. Starting to buckle up here where they usually all do. I've noticed it's starting to bend here. And I started looking some more. I'll know more once I get the hood off, but you probably can't see it, but about right here is where it's bending above this axle. It's actually nosing up now. It's starting to nose up quite a bit. Uh, you can't really see it too well, but I can see on the other side that dip in the frame is deeper now so it's definitely starting to go up so that means i'm probably going to have to throw a patch plate on here we're allowed six patch plates i've only got four on it now two on both sides i can add two more and i'll put them right here and that should fix that and go from there and that the front of the frame really held together really well the hood took a lot of it of course, it was fighting the steering the entire time, which really sucks. Let's see if I can get a good view of that. Oh yeah, you can see how bent that is now. Yeah. Going from that spindle, straight, 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 starting to bow a little bit, and then bent. Yeah. That sucks, but it's part of the game, and it's a lightweight axle, and whatever. I kind of I set this up to where all I gotta do is undo this bolt, that bolt, that bolt. You know, those five bolts and this whole front axle beam will drop right out. And of course, my drag link, so it's easy to replace. It's the way I designed it. Uh, what took me out was first time ever I've had my belt jump off this idler pulley. That was it. Everywhere else the belt stayed on, but it jumped off this pulley right here on the. That one big hit with Patrick. So I'm gonna have to throw some extra belt guards over this to help kind of fix that. Should be able to just throw a bolt kind of at an angle to kind of cap that in a little bit more. Actually solved that. Other than that, that's it. That's what took me out. So I ended up getting third place, just barely. I'm talking barely third place. Yeah, I don't have a trophy at the moment to show for it because they're sending those in the mail. But I got uh, 60 bucks. And hopefully I'll get a trophy in a few weeks. But it was a really good show. A lot of hard hitting mowers. The whole show for the night was pretty good. And say our class for limited wells, that was probably one of the roughest ones I've ran in a while. There were some really hard hits, some really hard mowers. It was good. Uh, the other mower I built that was just like this that my buddy Leroy runs, he got second with it. He did some more damage to his though. Um, yeah, he ended up losing his whole front wheel here. The spindle dropped out and at the end, his motor came undone. He lost both rear bolts and the motor came completely loose and dropped the belt. And old uh, 
Patrick that got first, he fought hard for that one. He absolutely trashed his mower. It was definitely a good show. Definitely a good one. But yeah, I just got to do a few, few repairs of this and they'll be ready to go again. I don't know when I'm going to run it again. I'm kind of just winging it for the year. But now you know that even a dialed in mower will break. You never know what's going to happen. As perfect as the mower may seem, it's not completely bulletproof. Things do happen. But for the most part, it held together really well. And it's just some minor repairs. Some stupid stuff. So let that be a lesson. A lot of derby is mostly about luck. Like I said, I barely made it to third place. Barely squeaked out third place. Yeah, there you have it. Kind of a spur of the moment run, Boonville. Oh, also, while we're talking about Boonville, Buddy ran this car car runs still we'll do a quick little walk around it doing really well out there took one shot to the front that I think that's when he got shoved up on the wall I did that radiators destroyed but it can be fixed well it still runs and dro drives it's doing really well out there the backs packing perfectly took some hard shots on this side took a real hard shot to this rear wheel to above it it missed the wheel but hit above it and just caved all that in so yeah car will be ran again I'll probably make a full video on that later since this thing just refuses to die and uh, I'll make that video when he comes here to work on it so we definitely gotta get a video on that thing it's video worthy it's done better than I expected so yeah there you have it. Spur the moment, Boonville. The show that I forgot about. So, I'm glad I went. It was a pretty good show. It was pretty good. Got to meet some uh, new people. Made more friends. Always nice. Pretty good day. Not bad. So, glad I went. But there you have it. Let me know down in the comments what you think of the mower. Did it surprise you that it broke like that? That it dropped the belt? I had that thing dialed in. Apparently there's one little flaw. It won't happen again. So, yeah, minor repairs. I did actually came out a lot better than some of the other guys. There was a lot of junked mowers. Hard hitting show. Good show. So, if you missed it, you missed it. It was definitely a good one. One worth watching. The whole show was good. So, there you have it. Till the next one. Later, y'all.